Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Kat and today's video is just me announcing my participation in the hashtag Ribsat Readathon for the Read Your Bookshelfathon. This readathon is a week long. It takes place from May 18th to May 25th, 2015, obviously. And it is hosted by Miranda over at Books 101 and Lainey at Ginger Reads Lainey and other people who I'm not really sure of, but I will link all of their Twitters and channels down below or whatever their main source of social media is so you can check out the other hosts and yeah basically if you don't know what this readathon is it's where you pick a point in your bookshelf and read on from there send and read as many books as you possibly can and it's to bring your TBR down as much as possible so I participated in round four of the readathon this is now round five round four was back in like January and I did it and I absolutely loved it I had an amazing time doing it so I'm so excited to be doing it again the bookshelf I picked from isn't even really a bookshelf. I keep the books that I really want to read next to my bed. So the first two books I have are from right next to my bed and then the other ones I actually picked from my actual bookshelf which is behind me. So yeah, the first book that I have to read is The Selection by Kira Cass. Um, I need to read this for my TBR jar goal. Yes, TBR jar. I don't know what I'm talking about, jar challenge. Yes. But apparently this book is really quick and easy to read, so hopefully I'll be able to get it done in one day, maybe even one sitting. I don't know, but let's just knock this out and just do it. Let's just do it. The second book that I have that is on the shelf thingy next to my bed is The Demon King by Cinda Williams Chima. Chima? I don't know. Um, I don't know what this is a book is about, but I know it's like a Y high fantasy novel. I don't usually read high fantasy, so I'm really nervous to be picking this up, especially during a readathon. But if I'm not feeling it, or if I can't read it quickly enough for a readathon, I'm just going to put it down and not stress myself out. But yeah, I do really want to read this. It sounds interesting from the small amount I've actually heard about it. So I hope I can get to this and read it quickly. I don't know, it's pretty long, but we'll see. We'll just have to see. The next book, or this is going into my Apple bookshelf. My bookshelves are organized by rainbows. So I picked from my black shelf into my white shelf. So yeah, black books. The first book I have is A Girl Who Loved Tom Gordon by Stephen King. I've been wanting to read this for a really, really long time. I've had it for a while and it's only like 200 pages. So should be able to read this pretty freaking quickly. Pretty excited about it. Gonna knock this the hell out. The next book I have on my TBR is a reread and not even sorry. It's The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. I want to reread this Catching Fire and Mockingjay all before catch or er, all before Mockingjay Part 2 comes out in November. So, let's just I'm just going to read it now cuz it, what's it's what came next on my shelf and I want to read it, okay? Okay, Hunger Games. The next book I have to read is The Naturals by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. This book is again pretty short, it's like 300 pages, so, and it's supposed to be Criminal Minds for the YA world, which you don't know, Criminal Minds is my freaking everything, I love Criminal Minds, so I'm so, so excited to read this, and again, hopefully I can read it pretty freaking quickly. The final book I have I probably won't get to, but I added it to my TBR just in case I made it this far. Highly doubt I will, but you know, what the hell, might as well put it there, that rhyme unintentionally. And this is Uglies by Scott Westerfeld, which again, I've owned for a really long time. I got it used and the last people wrote their last name on it and it drives me insane, but whatever. But yeah, so I've been wanting to read this for a long time. I know a lot of people really love it, so if I get to this, awesome. If I don't, oh well, yeah. Those are all of the books I have to read for the readathon. Let me know if you're participating in the readathon. I would love to know. I'm so, so excited. So if you are participating, let me know what you're going to be reading because wow, I'm so excited. Hopefully I will be doing a read your, book read your bookshelf a thon wrap up at the end of the week. I don't know if I'm going to do update videos or not yet. I might. I don't know. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe and comment below and let me know what you will be reading for the website readathon. Um, yeah, so that's all I have. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!